Chapter Four, Section One. In this section, we are going to learn how to graph linear functions, how to use average rate of change to identify linear functions, determine whether a linear function is increasing, decreasing, or constant. The last thing we want to learn how to build linear models from verbal descriptions. So first, let's look at graph linear functions. Linear function we can write as slope-intercept form, which is f of x equals m x plus b, where m is the slope of the line and b is the y-intercepts. So this line equation is called a slope-intercept form of line equation. And for linear function, domain is all real numbers, okay? Because it doesn't have any restriction, right? No denominator, no even index of roots. Okay, this form of line equation we call it slope-intercept form of line equation. So if line equation given you in this kind of form, you can identify slope of the line and the y-intercept of the line. And then you can use those information to graph. So now let's look at example. If given your line equation, linear equation f of x equals negative three x plus seven, and ask you to graph it, and then find the domain and the range of this function. So let's graph it first. In order to graph linear function, we know linear function the graph must be straight line, right? So in order to graph this straight line, we identify the slope equals negative three, and the y intercept is seven. Y intercept is seven. That also means, you know, if we write as the point, okay, for the y intercept is zero seven. All right, and then we can set up rectangular coordinate system. Okay, so we already know a point on the line, right? So we can plot y-intercept first. So we put a scale first. Not here. All right, zero seven is right here. Okay, this is a point zero seven, and a slope equals negative three. So remember, slope definition that's rise over run, right? So negative three, you can consider rise is negative three, run is positive one, right? That's the same as negative three, right? So from zero seven, every three units, every negative three units rise. Okay, so every three units down, one, two, three, three units down, and then one units to the right. So what's the coordinates of this? This from zero to right one. So x coordinate is one, right? Y coordinates from seven. Down three, six, five, four. So y coordinate is four, and then connect these two points. Okay, that's the line equation for linear function f of x equals negative three x plus seven. So two points determine the line. Okay, so in order to graph linear function, you need to identify at least two points. Y-intercept, that's one of the points. And then based on definition of slope, you can identify one more point. Okay? So if in case you want to consider rise over run as positive 3, negative 1, that will be fine too. Okay? It just uh, identify different point on the line, but they're on the same line. Okay? If that is the case, Every three units rise, okay, one units to the left, right? So this is another point. 
Okay, so what's the coordinates of this point? X coordinates will be 91. Y coordinates will be from 7. Go up 3, right? 8, 9, 10. That will be 91, 10. So those three points, they are on the same line. All right, so that's use the y-intercept and a definition of slope to graph. Or if you want, you can use any arbitrary two points to graph, but you just have to create a data table, okay? For example, you can use one x equals one, and then negative three times one is negative three plus seven, that's a four, and then one x equals two, and then negative three times two, negative six plus seven, positive one. Okay, we can test it whether they're on the same line or not. Okay, two, one, that's the point right here, right? And then one, four, that's the point. Oh, that's a, right here, one, four. Okay, so you can use other point to do the graph right here. My hand graph is not accurate. Okay, but I just show you the way how to do the graph. This is the book shows you y-intercept first and then based on the rise over run, right? Slope definition, we can plot additional points and then connect these two points, form the line. And then the arrow pointing, I'm sorry, the arrow pointing to net, uh, positive infinity and a negative infinity. Okay, so domain and a range both are real numbers. Okay, domain will be from negative infinity to positive infinity and a range same from negative infinity to positive infinity. So linear function, domain and a range both are real numbers.